What is up YouTube people? This is Jake Viper 15 Alpha 41. I'm out in the workshop and I'm screwing around with my latest project. This is a 210 gallon aquarium I bought from a friend of mine who uh, bought from Craigslist and when he bought it he had never put water in it so he wasn't sure that it would hold water. So what I've decided to do is a couple things. First, I've removed some weirs that were in this tank. They were, uh, of course, over these corners. And you can see there are the holes that uh, were drilled through the tank for uh, a, a plumbing for an overflow. I am not going to use an overflow. I'm going to go with a, probably another Fluval FX6 type filter. So I removed the weirs. There's still a bulkhead in this hole. The rest of the other three didn't have anything. I'm going to have to take that one out. Uh, and uh, I'm skeptical of this tank because, like I said, my partner who uh, bought the tank had never put water in it. He's never seen it hold water, nor have I. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to reseal it. I actually applied new silicone to all of the seams, all the vertical and horizontal seams. But I ran into a problem, and the problem I ran into is this. I'm not sure if the silicone was out of date or what was going on, but I had taped each seam and then put the silicone in, and then when I removed the tape, I got this weird texture that came out of them on the new silicone. I've never seen that happen before, and I'm not familiar with it, and I'm... Yeah, you know, I don't want to take any chances as to whether or not it was watertight. I think it probably is, but when you're talking about 200 plus gallons inside your house, you don't want to take any chances. So what I'm going to do is uh, take all that out and put a new, you know, and do it again. So, uh, the, you know, this tank's going pretty well. I've had some problems with the seams. Working on taking care of that. The other thing I want to talk about is, if you look at my channel, I am at my 149th subscriber. So sometime in the near future, I'm going to have 150 subscribers. And that blows me away because, uh, you know, it, it's amazing to me that there are 150 people out there in the world that are interested in hearing what I have to say about primarily fish tanks i talk about a few other things and if you look at my channel you can see some other stuff i've done but it's uh, primarily a fish tank stuff so uh you know i want to i want to say uh thank you very much to all the folks that uh watch my channel and i want to especially say uh send a shout out to the people that engage with me i love answering questions i love talking to people i love getting advice from other more advanced Aquarius than I am. And, uh, you know, and what can I say? This is, it's, it is so cool that we can create an environment where, uh, you know, people who uh, are very far away from me can engage with me. And, I, you know, and this, that's the nature of the Internet, and it's a beautiful thing. And I just want to say uh, thank you very much. I don't, you know, I hope to call out my 150th subscriber in some way. Eh, probably not going to be a prize or anything I'm going to mail to them, but I'll give them a shout out in a video. So, uh, thanks guys. Uh, keep watching, and I'll keep working on projects, and I'll keep telling you what's going on, and I uh, hope everybody has a great day.